Hello, my lovely individuals, and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex. Today, we are going to look at 15 incredible different ideas for how to decorate your entrance on your Animal Crossing island. Um, I have seen so many requests for this. I did do one version of this before, but I figured, you know, there's never enough inspiration for entrances. Why don't we do it yet again? Also, what is this dance? I don't know. I don't know. Thank you so much to my members before we get started. Just wanted to shout you all out. If you want to become a member, the link is in the description. You can read about the perks there, but let's get into this video today. Look at this first entrance. I had to come here first. Look how beautiful it is. I love the layering with the cliffs and the fact that there's mostly just the one cliff level. I feel like I can never make that work. I always have to do two, but it's so cute here. We have a little hop hop river space. The pathing is gorgeous. All of the furniture feels so natural to the area and resident services is pretty close here. So I think this creator did a fabulous job of filling this space up and making it feel distant, even though resident services and the airport are right beside each other. I know it's really difficult for a lot of us to decorate when res services is right here, but Take this as inspo because it is beautiful. I feel like I've been seeing so much creativity with road designs lately and this island is no exception. Check out this road. It feels like a rural country road that leads to resident services. I am just really stunned by how it curves. This is so well done. It also like filters into a different path over here. Again, resident services isn't too far away, but there's definitely room here for a lot of design. Look at the road curvature. Look how cool that is. It's like a windy back road, definitely fitting this autumn vibe we've got going on on the island as well. And I just thought this was so well done. I feel like this would take me forever to put together, but good job. I had the pleasure of visiting this incredibly unique theme. This island is based off of Chernobyl. So we've got kind of an abandoned, kind of dark aesthetic going on, very abandoned industrial we can say so they have this building right here at the entrance definitely giving off um uncared for dilapidated aesthetic and i am living for it i also love the abundance of trees like nature is reclaiming this area look at all of this vegetation right here at the entrance and then this one had a very far resident services so you climb this incline and go down this one and it is centered with the resident services plaza so that's a cool way if your resident services isn't centered with the airport you can still make it work by centering other things with resident services this was just very beautiful to me next up we had another autumn island very timely if you're watching this as it's released as we are deep in november but i thought this was absolutely stunning here at sunset especially it looked so beautiful and i love the unique way the creator used this pathing how it's kind of broken up it has even the flower growing out of the bricks we do still have this kind of nature reclamation vibe which i love didn't even realize that when i put these two islands beside each other in the queue but look at all of this i love these road designs i like seeing how people connect resident services in other ways as well when I look at entrances, especially how close this one is to the airport. I know a lot of you are looking for inspiration for including the new items in your entrance, and I felt like this was a cool and simple way to do it. This creator went with roads for their island, and so they were able to incorporate things like the luxury car, the crosswalk, the new street lamps of various types. They also used hedges to make these two separate sections, so there's bike rental as well as a cafe. I thought that was super neat, and even the donation box at the front that I just messed with in the walked away from. I was also very entertained by the fact that you can turn on the car headlights and turn them back off. I am just incredibly mature. Incredibly so. I also wanted to show a range of themes in this video for your entrances and so I loved this one. It's got kind of a mix of tropical and jungle aesthetic for me. I think this is so beautiful. The bridge right at the front. I feel like this bridge is so underused in general so I love seeing it on these jungly islands. I also think it's notable how close resident services is. 
but this creator made it feel so far away just with this simple cliff barrier in the bridge, it makes it feel like there is so much more space than there is between resident services and the airport. This next entrance had so much going on. First of all, I thought it was so cool how the creator managed to put a bridge on a cliff right in front of the entrance, like wow. But also the fact that the entrance isn't even really centered around the airport. It's just got this winding pathway that goes through and goes past the airport. And I mean, there are things like this feels like a little welcome center for the island. So, you know, obviously this is structured as an entrance. I just think it's cool that the path sort of winds through. It doesn't lead from the entrance. It just kind of goes past the little airport dock. I also love that there was a villager house so close to the airport and this little villager has a bakery. So it's kind of like you're being welcome to the island here. I thought it was so gorgeous. Overall, there was so much going on in this entrance, so much furniture placed, so many different paths being incorporated. I also loved that the gifts the creator left out were alternating color here. Very nice earthy tones. This resident services was very far away from the airport and I just loved how much fit here. Another very creative thing to do with your entrance is to add a shop or some other building right here at the front. I don't know if I've ever seen an island that had Able Sisters so close to the airport. I also love that, again, we're getting to see so many of the new items from the update, from the bistro table to the little plant partition and planter box. It was all so cute and so fitting and just definitely aesthetic and fitting for Able Sisters. This next island knocked me out. It was so stunning and cute. I loved the custom pathways that were used here, the little borders for the stone path. Very kid core and precious. Also loved how vibrant that monkey villager is. But look at how cute this is. The resident services plaza is fairly close to the airport. There's definitely room for like terraforming and stuff if the creator had wanted to do that. But look at these two little intersections. I just, wow, I just loved this aesthetic so much and it definitely makes me want to do kid core yet again. A theme we haven't seen yet in this video is elegant core and a look at this elegant core town. The street lamps with the little flower baskets, just precious. And I loved that the gazebo made of you right at the front. This one also had a very distant resident services. I was loving the way buildings were created with plants and building facades. I mean, how cool is this? We have another little plaza here that's centered with the resident services area. And look at this. Look at me go under the pergola. And before any of you comment, pergola is the American pronunciation. I know a lot of you say pergola. Thank you. I just thought this was so pretty. And yeah, I want to do an elegant core island now too. I want to do all the islands. Up next is a very different example for putting buildings right at your entrance. Look how cool Blathers' tent looks here, especially at night in the rain. I love how this creator goes about creating illumination in general on their islands, but this one is just so stunning so far. I loved this entrance. I thought it was so well done. I mean, look at the little glowing lamps and the Nova, the Nova lights, even the moss. This was just so cool and I don't know, kind of spooky too with the tent right here. Very creative use of Blathers' tent as opposed to upgrading and having the full museum. If you want to put your terraforming hat on, I thought that this island was a brilliant example of just how creative you can get with your cliff and waterscaping. I mean, look at this. Look at how winding this pathway is, and it leads all different directions. You can get to different spaces on the island with this pathway. I loved the waterfalls right here at the front, definitely showcasing this creator's talent, their passion for their island. Look at this little tent back here. I thought this was so precious. Again, this creator is fortunate in that they have a far away resident services. I mean, fortunate to me, I prefer far away resident services, but yeah, I thought this was so well done. The terraforming was so unique. 
this was another very unique theme from a fellow Animal Crossing YouTuber. This island is laundry themed. It's called Sudsy Cove, which I thought was precious, but look at how much we're fitting in right here. I thought this entrance was super unique in that it was so open on the right while the left was kind of barred with cliffs and look at these custom designs on the ground. Also the number of items that fit here, it was incredible. I feel like resident services was kind of medium distance in this one. It was like very average distance from the airport. So a good example, a good average example of what you can do. I don't even know how to describe this theme, but I know that this island was just beautiful. I love this gazebo, how bright and white it is. It really counters the surroundings, how we have like the dark brown castle walls here and these flower arrangements too. I loved the colors that were chosen for this. They were so bold and vibrant, really made the entrance on this island pop, I think. It was such a huge courtyard at the entrance because yet again, we have a very far resident services. So you have to follow this pathway and resident services was like a good distance away. It was like very back on the island and to the right from the airport. But look at how stunning this is just I was blown away like absolutely speechless at how pretty this was and I just had to showcase this island because aside from the fact that the decor is amazing look at Sylvana here watching us go also the wind look how the wind is blowing the confetti from the confetti machine I didn't know that it would affect confetti that way but it looks so cool going out over the waterfall wow Anyway, I had to showcase this because in addition to how beautiful it is just to look at how beautiful the terraforming is, this entrance is so close to resident services, but you would never guess it. Just looking at this, just appreciating the view here, you would never guess how close it is, but look at this. The airport is right here and you can see resident services from the airport entrance, despite all of this decor but the way they've separated it is so creative. You have to walk around in kind of like a horseshoe to get two resident services. It's completely separated from the airport, even though they are super close together. That was so cool to me. I can't imagine how long that took to like plan out and get right. It just looks so good, so beautiful. That is all I have for you all today. I hope that you're feeling inspired to work on your own entrance or really anywhere on your island. I feel like some of these were applicable for anywhere, some of these courtyards and things. Thank you all so much for being here today. And here is Peaches to tell you all goodbye for now. I love you guys so much and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.